Imagine planting little money trees online. Now that is exactly what I'm gonna be showing you in today's video, how to start and build your little sales tree machines online. And the best parts about it are, you don't need any cash to get started. There's no experience needed. There's absolutely no selling. You can do this from literally anywhere in the world. And it could be done within a matter of minutes. Well, dang, it doesn't get much lazier than that. Now today we'll be leveraging Amazon for free, one of the number one largest search engines in the world, and we'll leverage it so that we can sell low content books. Now this is a passive income business model where if you're just getting your feet wet, maybe you could expect a recurring monthly income like this. But if you take it seriously and plant more money trees, we're talking realistically monthly recurring income like this or like this. So if you're just as pumped up as I am for this video, go ahead and comment money trees in the comments and let's go ahead and get started with step one. So step one in all this is understanding low content. What are low content books? What does that even mean? Well, we all know about regular content, so that could be video, that could be consuming audio books, that could be consuming printed books, all of the posts and images that we see on social media. Really any entertainment or information that's consumable is considered content. Now low content means really there's hardly information in that piece of content. And now let me ask you something. Have you ever written down in a to-do list, maybe a planner, maybe an agenda, or even colored in a coloring book? Yes, of course you have, we all have. And that is exactly what low content books are. They have no chapters, there's absolutely no writing. They could be notebooks, diaries, planners, log books, coloring books, activity books, anything along those lines, and you've got yourself a low content book. And so you're thinking, okay, that sounds simple enough, creating low content books, selling them on Amazon, but how the heck would I even get started? And that's a great question because today's video is sponsored by BookBolt. BookBolt is the number one tool for low content book creation. It's a tool that'll allow you to create these books within minutes so that you can publish these books on Amazon KDP within no time. BookBolt allows you to create a cover and it allows you to create an interior. The only two things that you need to create a low content book, it has hundreds of different types of templates for the interior and the cover creator is extremely easy and user-friendly. And there's so many tools within BookBolt, like for example, you can look up the hottest keywords to optimize your book so that it can rank on Amazon on the first page and it can generate more sales. And it has a cloud feature as well, which helps you do reverse engineering so that from the beginning, you can start to make sales on Amazon right away. So today I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to create a low content book. We'll be creating, it's kind of like a, in between a journal and a log book, and we're going to leverage the book bold tool to use it. And the best part about all of this is once your book is on Amazon, there's absolutely no fulfillment on your part. You don't have to have any inventory. You don't have to deal with shipment. You don't have to deal with customer service, which is amazing. So book Vault does all the heavy lifting for you and Amazon takes care of the rest, takes care of the traffic. There's millions and millions of people every single day on Amazon. So with that being said, let's go ahead, hop behind my computer and let's get started. So step number two is the cloud. But obviously, before we get to the cloud, we have to log into BookVault. And if you use the link in the description, you can get a three free day trial. And not only that, there's a discount code if you know later on you decide to buy one of the paid plans. So really what's gonna happen is you'll come to the sign in page right here, uh, the login page. So you will create your credentials. And then when you log in, it's going to look like this. So what we wanna do first is come over here to the cloud because we're on step two. Okay, and what we're going to do is just research. We're going to look at what people are shopping with right now. What are the most popular products? What products are getting the most sales? Because remember, people shop with their eyes. Some of the most basic books that are attention grabbing are the ones that are the winners. So you can just come here. We can pick the category notebook, journal, calendar. For the time being, I'm gonna click notebook. And this value right here is called best sellers rank. Okay, we'll talk about this number in a second, but this is the price range. You don't have to really uh, adjust any of that right now. So basically what, what we're gonna do is just look through what are the top sellers and you'll see going through some of these, it's just these books are basic. Look at this, it's a cheetah print or is that, yeah, cheetah print, it says notebook 
and it has nothing in it. Remember, these are low content books. There's lined paper, there's college ruled paper, there's grids, simple things in these books. Look at this black uh, notebook, it just says notebook. And if we look at the stats down here, it's incredible because um, it's getting estimated monthly sales of 474 sales times $6. Now just think about that for a second. Just this one black notebook with no creativity whatsoever, with blank note sheets on the inside is making, let's see, 400, let's do the math right here. So 474 times, let's just say $6, that's $2,800 from one book. Now, of course, you have to subtract the printing costs from Amazon, which is approximately $2, $2.10, I believe. Don't quote me on that. So obviously, let's say uh, the profit is $4. So let's go $4 times 474 sales. We're talking $1,800, almost $1,900 a month just from one book. Now remember, the name of the game is growing these money trees, planting these money trees. You can post an unlimited amount of these books on Amazon. There's absolutely no limit. So you plant these money trees, you nurture them, you love them, and then you grow them. Okay, so let's go back to this page. But yeah, we're just gonna take a look at what's winning. Look at this engineering notebook. I used to be an engineer. This is pretty cool. Um, composition notebook, graph paper comp composition. Um, you know, it's just, there's just tons of the same thing over and over. Some of these are eye catchy, really some aren't, but yeah, a lot of these you can see, um, when you come down here to look at the average monthly sales, again, the BSR number, the lower the value is with this, the better, because if, uh, if a book or yeah, if a low content book has a lower amount of monthly sales, then this number is going to be higher. So this is just um, to get a gauge of, of what's going on. But again, this is all really cool because you can get a feel of <laughs> shit I can't remember. Now that's catchy. It's simple, but it's catchy, right? So this must be for people that can't remember their passwords, can't remember you know their to-do list, stuff like that. These are tools that people are using every single day um, in their lives to note things and you know whatever they need to keep track of. All right, so now the third step in all of this is to pick a niche. And this shouldn't be too complicated. It should be something more likely that interests you. So for example, I'm all about online marketing. You know, I, I love YouTube, that's what I teach, but also I love fitness. I love working out. Um, I love traveling and so I could pick really any niche because when you create your Amazon KDP account You can create different authors within your Amazon KDP account and you can have all kinds of niches Within that same Amazon KDP so the more niches you have it doesn't really affect the the sales that you're going to make So that's what's cool. So if we're back in here in the cloud if I want to look up um, weight loss or something like that to have like a weight loss notebook or journal, I'm going to look that up and see what the most popular things are and what's out there right now for, for this. So, okay, not, not that much came up for notebook. Let's maybe look at journal and see what is out there for the keywords weight loss, okay? Um, hello, new me, okay, okay. Body, I've seen, body, I've seen these two before. This is catchy, F me. I'm gonna do this diet and exercise body body joy food and fitness journal okay cool so i know this is what i want to do weekly body measurements um, we can keep looking so let's say i wanted to just put in fitness is that a bug on my face a fitness journal okay so then we see some of the same journals like this one here so f me i'm gonna do this diet and exercise Sorry, I said the S word, but the price is about $8. Average BSR for the past 30 days. So this is a little bit lower. Average moving, or uh, I'm sorry, estimated monthly sales, 374 74 sales for that book. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. There's a bunch of different options here. I like this niche, I'm gonna go for it. I think um, there's another one I found earlier when I was doing research, I think it was workout. So workout journal, workout planner. I think it was a, let's see, planner. Or maybe, no, oh, I guess not. Oh, this is kind of cool. So fitness workout log book. 
So this is the niche that I'm gonna go with. This is the one thing you have to choose is what's going to be your target audience. And from there, that's gonna be important with getting keywords, which I'll show you later on in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and go with weight loss. Okay, so step four in all of this is creating the cover. Now, with a low content book, there's only two things that you need to build. That's a cover, and that is the interior. That is literally it, you don't need anything else. So if you come to Book Vault and come to the upper left-hand side and come to Create, you can see the Book Vault Designer. So this is where you can come and we can start to create the cover right here. You wanna select Cover. All right, trim size, typically, um, according to the owner of Book Bolt, who's a really, really, per, you know, he's the pro at selling low content books on Amazon. He says that six by nine are the ones that sell the most of the winning books. White paper interior is good, page count 24, submit. So this is just to create the cover, right? So in, when we do the interior, it'll be a little bit different. So when we land on this page, we're gonna see here that we have two blank slots. The right hand side is the front cover of the book. The left hand side is the back cover. So front and back. Here we could do different things like add text. We could add images. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this image in a second. We could add different shapes. Whatever we wanna do, we can draw things, which is pretty cool. Here is where you could uh, manage all the different layers of what you have on the book. Here's some different effects. So this is really, really neat. So if you get any copyright free image, you can literally upload anything you want here. What I did to take it a step further, um, because I want to target women in fitness who are exercising and trying to lose weight, I just went to canva.com. It's actually a free tool. Um, everything I did on Canva was free. So I created this front cover and this back cover. It took me literally like three minutes and I'll show you how. I just came here to templates and I typed in uh, fitness. And then all these different fitness templates came up and this is a free, this is not a part of the pro. And so all I really did was I selected a template and I modified it. So you can do this modify it it's really really easy to do and then if you want to duplicate the page and let's say this is going to be your front cover you know workout and then you can duplicate this and this could be your back cover maybe you take off the title and you just have something uh, even more simple on the back but yeah so i targeted uh, boss babe so you know maybe the millennial type women who use the term boss babe I kind of can't stand the term boss babe but that's beside the point boss babe fit get it girl lifting training and fitness notebook okay so these are copyright free images that I replaced and then the back of my book is going to be this just a picture of a boss babe and it says boss babe fit that is it so I just went up here and I clicked download and then I downloaded it so once I did that, I went back to Book Bolt and I uploaded these images. So this one is going to go on the back cover. So you can drag and drop here on the back cover. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so here is the spine. So this pink part, basically the bleed, the margin of everything. That is how everything fits. So let me upload the other image really quick. Okay, so you upload the image and I could just easily fit it right here. Okay, so that looks good to me. So then what we're going to come do here is click download and it's going to prepare. Your design is ready, download. So now we're here and this is our amazing cover that just took minutes to make. And that's it. What you're gonna come here is come to download and then we'll download it and save it to our computer. So boss, babe, cover. And we're, we'll need that later when we upload it to Amazon KDP. So that's done, cover, done. So the next step, I believe step five, is we're gonna install KDP Spy, which is a free Chrome extension within the Book Bolt tool. So this is really great because there's so many different features, including this one within the Book Bolt um, low content book creator itself. So we come to our Book Bolt account, come here to KDP Spy, and we're gonna click on it and install it, and a page will pop up where it says, um, you know, free Chrome extension, install. It's really, really easy. And then to log into it, 
you um, just really just use your same credentials as BookBalt to log in. Super simple. So the extension, um, it'll allow us to do a few things. It's just up here on the right hand side. I know you can't really see it, but it allows us to search different keywords and see what's going on. So if we type in workout journal, we can get a feel of what is going on. So we can start and what this is going to do is research all the workout journals that are performing well. And what we can do is estimate, we can see, a, I'll click stop. We can sort by estimated sales and check out the here. So down here there's um, workout journals, new me fitness journal for men and women track your fitness and we could i actually like this one just a badass bitch getting fit that's kind of that was kind of my motivation for picking uh boss babe and you can see the average monthly wait average number of sales every single month average estimated sales was 900 something like that's insane that amount of sales within 30 days so i really like the niche that i picked um, this is the average estimated revenue per month this is just from one book guys again one book we're planting these money trees okay so this is really great so i like this tool because you can confirm that the product is profitable and so i would highly suggest installing kdp spy to get this information so if we take a look at this badass bitch getting fit journal and take a look inside, I guarantee it's a low content book and the interior is very, very simple. It has just the same thing pretty much every single day, the date, weight, breakfast, lunch, you know, just, it's basically a log and tracker, you know, for women who are constantly working out, trying to get fit, lose weight and all that stuff. So this verifies that the interior is really good. Now we're gonna move on to part two of generating the interior. All right, so now we are on step six, which is all about creating the interior. Remember the step or the first part of it, we made the cover, so check, cover's done. There's only two components of this book. We are diving into the interior right now. On the left hand, top left hand side, I'm in create, and I click on book bolt designer. So here, to create the interior, we're gonna click on interior. The trim size is gonna be six by nine, page count. Good, the best-selling notebooks and planners and low-content books have between 100 to 120 pages. So let's just put 120. That's, and we want to select bleed because we wanna include the margin. So basically, when we get here, we wanna click on interior. Okay, so we're here on interior and you can see there's so many different templates, hundreds of templates from weekly planners, roommate agreement, uh, daily planners, fitness calendar. So we're going to be utilizing this down here. Um, house sitting guide, mileage log. There's like a scuba diving log. There's so many different niches. Uh, you know, grid paper, just regular notebook paper with like just lines, like notes, look at this. So this is actually really cool. So what I like to do is I actually like to make, combine several different interiors into one. And with that, we go back to this right here, the, um, the I'm sorry, the book bolt designer, okay? And we click on interior pro. So then when we get to interior pro, it's really cool because it's like, hey, let me put what I want on the first page of the interior and here's the last page so I can add um, whatever I want to the first page. So let's say I wanted to add um, this one here first and then we could add pages in the middle. We could add the fitness log. So we, you know, we could add another one of these. We could really, whatever one we want to add. So let's say maybe we want to add a fitness calendar the third one is going to be a workout log and we could then we could modify or if we want to put more pages we could put the workout log again so let's just say i don't know just for just for demonstration purposes we wanted to put a hundred of just the journal for example so then it would auto populate a hundred pages in the middle of the lined paper so this is really cool so you can mix and match um, I'm going to get rid of this and then the last page I'm going to make it down here. I'm going to put just something so that for the demonstration purposes we could move on. We'll put a to-do list just for fun. So we want to select bleed and then we're going to select our 
dimensions, then we'll click download, and then we'll wait for it to download. When we open it, we'll see our interior. Like how cool is this? So interior check is done. Okay, so moving on to step seven, we're talking about keyword research. Keyword research should not be intimidating. That's why we're leveraging BookBolt because there's a keyword research tool that makes it super simple and the process seamless. And so we could either leverage BookBolt, which I'm going to show you, or we could leverage the keywords of other popular books on Amazon because they have keywords like weight loss and diet plans is a keyword. Uh, motivational diet and exercise planner is a keyword, etc., etc. But on uh, BookBolt, what we're going to do um, is we're going to make sure we're on the research tab. Then we're going to come down here to keywords. We go to search and then we type in different keywords that relate to our niche. So, of course, I'm going to start with weight loss. I've done the keyword research just to prepare for this video and to explore. But the idea is I would write in, I would type in weight loss, I would type in fitness planner, exercise journal, um, anything relating to what I'm doing, I would type it in and see what's going on. So here you can see that um, the Amazon search volume is this column here. So you can sort by highest search volume to lowest. This is the search volume on Google. This is the competition. And the idea is, is that you want to have both a high search volume and low competition. That's a little bit hard to achieve just with any type of, whether you're doing it on YouTube, Google, etc. So you can look through these and see what relates to you. So let's say um, this word right here, Pilates for weight loss. Let's say that was in my niche. I um, hearted it which is cool because then it, BookBolt has this tool where you can go and track all of your keywords that you like so that you don't have to you know, write them down or whatever. So really that's how the keyword research works. Very simple. And again, you can note these keywords as well as we're looking for the best. Okay, so right before we move on to the last step, make sure if you are liking what you see, give this video a big like. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions because I know this is like step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, I'll be happy to answer. Also, you can get started with a three-day free trial by clicking the link in the description. There's also a 20% off discount code. It's case sensitive. So make sure you have the uppercase and lowercase all together. But let's go ahead and move on to step eight. And step eight is Amazon KDP. So getting your book on to Amazon KDP. So we're here, you go to Amazon KDP, set it up. It's a free account. All you have to do is sign up, put in your information. I think they ask for tax information as well, but it's completely free to set up your profile. And then when you come here, we're going to get started. We want paperback because remember, these are physical books. These are going to be books that people can write in. Amazon prints it and ships it for you. Remember, this is like print on demand. You have no inventory and you can have as many books as you want online. So here is basically where we're going to start. This is the first page. So the book is in English. The book title, honestly, we're going to model after this one right here. So weight loss journal for women. That is where our book title is going to be. We could put um, even like fitness journal for women. I like that. And then the subtitle could be something similar to this. So if we copy and paste this, um, so everything after the colon right here is, is basically the subtitle. So we can put that there, we can modify it. So it's, there's no food aspect. So it's just fitness journal for women, motivational diet and exercise planner. So motivational exercise planner, daily workout program for women. We could put like in the title, boss, babe, fit because that's the name of the notebook. Okay, so that's the title. And then series, if your book is a part of a series, so we could ignore this for now because there are no existing series. This is a brand new book, so we can leave this blank. Edition number is op optional, but not applicable right now. It says you can provide an edition number if this title is to a new edition of an existing book. Not really, so we could ignore that author. So this is really cool because on Amazon KDP, let's say I want to do a bunch of fitness journals and stuff. We can do that. And let's say the next niche I want to do is plants or travel. I could make different author names. It does not have to be my name. They could be different ones. So for this one, let's say the author is fit. Um, let's say it's boss babe fitness, right? 
fitness. So no one knows who my name is on this. And contributors, we don't have to do this for now. Description, we could do a similar description of what's in here. Boom. Obviously you wanna change it a little bit. Keep track of what you eat. Monitor your fast. Develop a new habit, achieve. So just, this could be keyword rich. So that's where maybe I'd come back here and say, funny weight loss tracker, you know, funny 100 page weight loss tracker. And that's how I would fill out the description. I'd make it keyword rich. Publishing rights, you say I own the copyright. For keywords, you would literally just come back here and copy and paste the keywords into here um, until they fill up. So this is what I would do, my weight loss tracker. You know, you could put fitness, journal, and all the applicable keywords that you found during your, uh, during your keyword research. So the more keywords, the better, especially so it could start to rank on Amazon first page. Categories, this is also where Book Vault will come in handy. You can go to KDP categories, you can type in fitness, exercise, and we can see what category it's in. So nonfiction, health and fitness, exercise. So choose categories. You go nonfiction, health and fitness, exercise. Okay, so we can save that. And then this isn't a large print, so we can leave that blank. Adult call adult content no does this book contain language situations or images for children under 18 uh, not really so save and continue assign me a free isbn this is free you just click yes and it does it and creates it instantly instantly publishing date you could make it for a week from now you can make it publish right away automatically so we'll just pick today's date um this one printing options it could be like black and white. So we pick the interior as white. So this is just fine to stick with black and white interior with white paper. That's fine. Six by nine, yes. Bleed, bleed only, because remember in the design we selected bleed. Um, I don't think glossy is appropriate, but you could pick between matte and glossy. And this right here is where we upload the manuscript or the interior. So. If we come to downloads, we see our interior, then we can upload that. Okay, and then the book cover, we have that already. Launch, oh no, we don't want that. We already have the cover. Okay, don't do this. Go back. Okay, so we wanna go ahead and upload a cover you already have, upload your cover file. So here we are, there's the cover. So then we're gonna click on launch previewer so we can see what the book looks like. So this is gonna take some time, but then after this is done, you can click save and continue. Then on the third page, what you're going to do is select your pricing. Now this is interesting because keep in mind that it costs about $2.10 for Amazon to publish the book, to ship it, and to handle all of that. So let's say you know you price your book between $5.99 and $7.99, which are typically the best prices for these low content books on Amazon. And so just say, you know, think about the profit margin that you want. Do you want $4? Do you want $5, $6? So let's say we price this book at $7.99 really our profit margin is gonna be around $6. I hope you guys now have a great understanding on how easy it could be to plant these money trees online. Just imagine if you had 10 of these books bringing in 30 sales per month and how that could really change your whole lifestyle right now. Again, be sure to get started with Book Vault today. Link in the description. And so if you've made it so far, to the end of this video, why don't you join me? Let's go to the next video all about money making websites where you could realistically make anywhere from 50 to $300 a day. That video starts right here, right now. So go ahead and click and I'll see you on the next video. Now I've been told by several of my friends, several other business owners and you guys, my viewers and my subscribers that I'm really good at two things. That first thing is helping